Okay, our final piece to setting up the MSCT portfolio is to go ahead and hyperlink this phrase called midterm to our actual midterm, and this phrase called final web quest to our final web quest, and this phrase teacher page to the actual teacher page of the web quest. So, to do that, the first thing that I have to have is a PDF version of my midterm. I need to know where my final web quest is and I also need to know where that teacher web page is. So I'm going to start with the midterm and creating a PDF. Now I have written directions but let me just show you very quickly how to create a PDF. Once I have PDF software installed, whether it came from a product that had it as a feature or I installed Qt PDF, all I need to do is go to any document, click on the file feature, click on print, print, and I need to just simply choose the Qt PDF writer as my printer. Now instead of printing to a physical piece of paper, it's going to print this presentation to a file. I'm going to click on OK and it's going to pop back up here in a minute and basically ask me where I want to save that file. Remember that it's not actually printing to a piece of paper but rather to a file. Okay, now I have gone ahead and converted my midterm PowerPoint into a PDF. I've saved both of these on my desktop so I can show them to you. Once again, my PowerPoint is here and my converted PowerPoint into a PDF is here. Now it is easier, although not required, to go ahead and rename this to be simply midterm.pdf before I do anything with it. Again, it's not required, it just makes it easier once I get it up into WordPress. So now I want to upload that into WordPress and make a hyperlink that goes from this word midterm out to that actual midterm file. I'm going to jump to my dashboard. I'm going to click on media because I want to add this to a library of files that I have available I need to add this to my media library. Basically I can hyperlink anything in terms of web pages or existing content through my pages and posts but if I want to add PowerPoints or PDFs or Word documents or other text documents I need to add these as a media library and of course I would also add images and audio etc into my media library. I'm going to actually bring this down a bit so that you can see all of my choices while I'm doing this because that's going to be important here. I'm going to once again start at my media library, click on add new. Now I can drag and drop files here but I'm going to go ahead and select I know that this file is sitting on my desktop, so I'm going to make sure I click over to my desktop. And here is my midterm.pdf file, and I do want the PDF. I'm going to click on open, and it's going to crunch that away for a moment. And all I've done here is just upload it. So now I need to pop back over to my pages, and in this case I want to add it to my coursework page. So now I'm going to go ahead and highlight the word midterm. I do not want to hyperlink this. I'm not going out to a web page. I'm not going out to another content page. But rather I'm going to add media to this. So once I've gone ahead and added media, now I can see that <clears throat> I can either upload files or go to my media library. In this case I've already uploaded this file, midterm. If I wanted to change the title, the caption, the description, I could do that over here. But once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and click on Insert Into Page. Oops, let me bring that back down one more time so you can see that menu. So towards the bottom right of this screen, Insert Into Page, and then I'm going to click on Update. I'm going to go ahead and maximize that screen out for you guys. I'm going to come back to my preview and I'm going to right click and reload. And indeed, now I have a hyperlink to my midterm. And there it is. 
going to go ahead and hit my back button because I now need to do my final and my teacher page. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to actually bring up a new window. And I'm going to shrink this down so you can see it. But in the new window, I need to navigate to the location where my web quest is. Now, you know the names of your sites, but I also know as a sample here, I'm going to navigate to a sample web quest. You, of course, will navigate to your true web quest. Generally speaking, if you follow directions provided in class, it's going to be your web URL forward slash web quest. This is the actual web quest. So in order to grab this site, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to either right click and copy or I could do a control C and copy. Now I'm going to come back to my dashboard and this is the dashboard of my portfolio site. Keeping in mind that I've got two sites. One is my portfolio site and one is my WebQuest site. I'm still on my coursework page. I'm going to highlight the phrase final dash web quest. This time I am going to go out to a hyperlink and I can right click and paste. I can control V to paste. I am going to get rid of the default HTTP there because I copied it into my other URL. So I'm going to paste that there. I'm going to click on add link and I'm going to update. I'm not going to show you the preview because I'm going to super quick repeat the process, come back to my WebQuest template, excuse me, my WebQuest sample pages here. I'm going to go to the teacher page and because I need a hyperlink of this, I'm going to highlight it, copy it, I'm going to jump back to my portfolio page, highlight the phrase, and again I'm creating a hyperlink. I'm going to click on add link, I'm going to update it. And now once I go out to my portfolio site and reload it, I can see as soon as it reloads that I will have a link to my final web quest as well as to my teacher page. There we go. So if I were to click on final web quest, that would take me to my final web quest. And if I were to click on teacher page, that would take me to the teacher page. Now for your portfolio assessment in the brains course, Let's review one more time. It's the magazine basic theme. We've got four pages. The first or main page is called coursework. It has the default template or placeholder content in here for the MSET program. Your midterm is hyperlinked and uploaded and your final is hyperlinked and your teacher page is hyperlinked. That is all that's required for your portfolio in the brains class.